Yo, what's good camp crew? It's your homeboy Camp Quarter Banks and welcome back to the channel. Now it's homecoming weekend and homecoming weekend is more so like fashion week for alumni and current students. So what I'm gonna do is talk to you about five different ways that you could be stylish for homecoming weekend and make sure that you are homecoming ready. So with that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Porter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. Now, just like I told you before, we are talking about homecoming weekend. Now, for y'all that know, man, homecoming weekend is big. You got football, battle of the bands, kickbacks, tailgates, events that's going on. You get to see your Greeks and everything like that. You get to see old friends, new friends, and you get to see your current students that's currently going there. But at the same time, it's kind of like fashion week for the young. So like I said, we're going to talk about five different ways that we could get you prepared for homecoming weekend and make sure that you look stylish. It's going to be real quick, real simple. It ain't nothing too deep, but we'll get you there. So with that being said, let's just jump right into this you did all right y'all now first thing first we're gonna start you off with the day event and that's mainly being at the football game and watching the battle of the band and watching the football team just go crazy so first thing first you should have your comfy gear ready so this is your sweatpants your hoodies your sweatshirts and things like that but at the same time this goes hand in hand with actually wearing what your alma mater is and actually wearing the clothing brands that they have at the schools so you could wear things that's like uic niu siu and so much more so it's going to be perfect for you to represent for your home team basically for your alma mater it's nothing too deep that you have to do because really you're going to look at the game now if you want to be on the stylish side what you can do is wear your things like your nike your adidas or even essentials you can actually wear those comfy pieces like sweatpants and sweatshirts big hoodies and be very stylish at the same time especially when you wear some dope kicks at the same time all right next up is kind of a hook line and a sinker simply because if you are in a greek fraternity or sorority wearing your colors or representing for your greek will be the perfect way for you to actually represent not only for your school but represent for your fraternity or sorority and just bring some real school spirit to the college that you are attending so go ahead go to the store get your greek perry and you'll be all good now by the way with that being said shout out to the brothers of 587 fraternity incorporated y'all already know what's up man blue fat go mob to the bros man y'all know what's up all right now moving forward this is when we actually are about to get to the stylish pieces and everything like that and next Next up is collegiate wear. Now I know collegiate wear kind of is hand in hand with the wearing your alma mater and everything like that. But uh, what I mean is collegiate wear is actually a big trend right now. You could actually wear your alma mater clothing. You could wear the jacket. You could wear the hoodies and everything if you want to. But more so on a collegiate wear. When we're talking about collegiate style, we're talking about more of that preppy type of style so the sweatshirts we're talking about the cardigans the varsity jackets and varsity jackets is like number one when it comes to actual style and fashion right now you will also be on trend for right now so you don't actually have to wear your school colors you don't actually have to represent for the school that you are attending or have attended you could wear something as simply as having like your name on it or anything like that you could have a letterman's jacket and make sure that it looked kind of preppy but at the same time add your own spin to it add different type of materials and more and you will be on point so like I said, having a collegiate wear is more so on the preppy side, but you will be more so on the fashion end because it's really trending right now. All right, next in line is wearing layers. Now after the tailgate, the football game, and after the battle of the band and everything like that, I'm pretty sure you're about to be hanging outside for a while and everybody is gonna flood the yard. So I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be bundled up because it's gonna be cold outside. It's not gonna be too cold, but we are in fall and that breeze is gonna come. Sometimes it may just be a little bit chilly and sometimes it may just be a little bit on the warmer side. So you wanna make sure that you have specific layers. It doesn't have to be any type of heavy winter coat or anything like that. You could have just simple layer pieces that will make you stand out. So starting off, you could have pieces from the new season from like Zara, Everlane, and Uniqlo, and so much more. So you could start off with pieces 
like jackets from these stores. In addition to that, you can have things such as vests, heavy flannels, or shirt jackets, which is really popular, like corduroy shirt jackets, and that could be really popular for you, and you can have a simple undershirt to go under that. So having layers will be a perfect way for you to actually be stylish when it comes to your homecoming attire. All right, now that we done got you through the earlier moments of the day and we done got you through the afternoon, this is more so when you get into the evening, later on into the evening when that big event coming. These are multiple styles that you could wear. So here's two for each of you that you could actually wear. So one, if you are a current student, I would say being in streetwear or lifestyle fashion, that's gonna be a big for you. Lifestyle fashion is gonna be more of a standout to show that you're on a more of a mature style. And at the same time, it shows who you are as an individual. Now, when you have streetwear, streetwear has no rules. And I'm not just talking about t-shirts and jeans. We're out of that. Streetwear has elevated to a whole different meaning of style. So it means that you could choose, pick and choose whichever ones you wanna wear and put them together and have a mean outfit when it comes together. Now, as for the alumni, I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. Yes, you could still be extremely stylish, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure you are gonna be turned up, but it's gonna be more on an elevated level. So for you, I would actually say, casual to lifestyle is gonna be your area. Streetwear is cool, but at the same time, you don't wanna blend in like you 18, but at the same time, you still wanna be a little bit on the liver side. You wanna show those colors, you wanna show different patterns and everything. Lifestyle is gonna be that area that you actually saved in. But if you wanna be on a more elevated, more mature style to show like, yo, I got some growth in my style and I mature from many levels of where I came from when I was younger, that's when you can merge to the casual style. This is when you start to bring on the boost, the loafers, getting out of the sneakers type of style. You can actually switch it up a little bit, have some chino pants, have some fire jackets that you actually have. And it doesn't have to be like dressed down like you're trying to go to work or something. You could actually just mix things up. You could still wear like dark denim. You could match up some leather pants and things like that. And at the same time, you could try to mix them up with like different boots, different fabrics, cuts, and different prints that you actually wear. This is gonna save you when it comes to that lifestyle and casual fashion. It just shows that you have more of an elevated type of style and show that you have a more mature age when it comes to your fashion instead of looking so young and looking like you still trying to hang with the 18 to 21 year old group. This will actually save you and this will actually make you look a little bit more on the fashionable side as an alumni. All right, y'all, now I just listed out five different ways that you all can style when it comes to homecoming weekend. Now, I know homecoming has already started about a week to two ago, but it's going to be going all the way through the middle of November. So if you haven't had your homecoming weekend yet and you want to know some more ways that you can actually be stylish, drop a comment down below. If you agree with what I just said, drop a comment down below as well. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up. Now, with that being said, I'm going to catch up with y'all next time because I need to get myself up out of here. I need to get dressed myself. So with that being said, I'll catch up with y'all next week. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all, all right? Peace. Go blue.